Now, the latest on the school showdown in Central Falls. One day after the superintendent agreed to continue talks, teachers are holding another rally. Right now, the jobs of every teacher at the high school are still on the chopping block. The superintendent handed out the pink slips after a recent study showed the school is underperforming. In turn, union leaders agreed to follow a reform plan, which includes longer school days, additional support for students, and rigorous teacher evaluations. I went to news reporter Walt Buteau spoke to the education commissioner about the resume talk. He joins us now live in West Warwick with the latest developments. So far, no official response from the union. And while we know that both sides do want to talk again, it's unclear what they will talk about. About 100 sign holders stood together for their colleagues in Central Falls, knowing that issues there could someday hit here. But this rally and an unfair labor practice filing is not a sign of division, if you ask the union president. Oh, I don't think so at all. I mean, in the end, we're all professionals, and, and we do what we need to do, and we can always meet um, and discuss these issues. When do you want to meet? When do you hope to meet? This week? Next week? I, you know, I can't give out that timeline. Union concessions about longer school hours and tougher teacher evaluations were attractive enough for the superintendent to invite the union back to the table. The commissioner, all for it. That bar is still set very high, and our expectations are not going to change for what we need to see done differently. The two sides are theoretically closer, but they differ on what will be talked about first. Turnaround model changes or contract issues. Let's get to the table. Let's really put the meat onto these bones here that we have. It, it includes everything. It's the details. And while there are no negotiations scheduled between the union and the administration, the stakeholders' meetings about the turnaround model will continue as early as next week. Live with the Mobile Newsroom in West Warwick, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.